have Wonder here again. And here I am with the dog again. You see, um, I forgot to ask a whole bunch of questions, but now the dog seems to be a little bit more cooperative because remember earlier, it was just, you know, it was completely turning the other way. Okay, so my question to you, okay, is um, <clears throat> what do you do when another dog chases you? Like, um, you know, do you start running like this? And then if you start running, like how fast do you run? I mean, do you, do you have to kick, do you have to kick another dog when it's running? I mean, what do you do? Do you like kick it with its back leg? Or do you ever get confused and think maybe you should like kick, you know, kick it with its front paw? Like what do you do in a dog fight? Like how, how do you fight with another dog? Cause you know, you have four legs and us humans, like we use our hands to box like this. And then we use, you know, our legs to kick. But then when you start running like that, like which, which leg, which leg do you use? I see. What it just told me was a really strange answer. You see, the thing is, it gets other humans to fight for it. How strange, you know? And here I am asking it, how does it defend yourself? I know, but what if you were alone? What if you were alone and another dog chased you? What will you do? I mean, will you jump? Can you jump? Can you jump? Oh, oh no, you can't jump. You can't jump? Can you jump? Maybe, and maybe do, do like a little self-defense thing? Or maybe you can't jump. Well, I don't know what the dog does, but um, I think if you jump around, you can confuse another enemy dog sometimes. Okay, so let's just say that you don't jump, okay? Let's say um, <clears throat> you don't jump. Do you dogs use weapons of mass destruction to destroy each other? No. Actually, the dog just said no. What a simple answer. The dog doesn't use weapons of mass destruction to destroy each other. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> Now my next question is for you, you know, um, if you're not using weapons to destroy other dogs, then um, <clears throat> what else, um, how else, what else do you do? Um, oh, a question we all want to know. What kind of food do you eat, Mr. Dog? Ah, see, the dog just told me it doesn't like to eat those foods out of a can and out of a bag. It likes fresh food because you know, you all know about the pet food we call and how they're putting poison ingredients in pet food and you know, nobody cares. That's why you have to feed your pet fresh food. Right, dog? Yeah, I know. You didn't like those canned foods either. I agree. Well, I'm really glad that, you know, you like, you know, oh my God, you like, um, you know, how is an interview going to take place when the dog's back is facing you? You know, I mean, you just can't help but feel a little rejected, you know, like, do you really have to, do you really have to, do you really have to put your back towards me when I'm interviewing you? All right, <clears throat> maybe I should stand this way. Let, 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 let me stand this way and interview the dog. Okay, Mr. Dog, so now that I've asked you, you know, <clears throat> how do you defend, you know, when I'm, oh, Mr. Dog, why are you panting? Oh, I think Mr. Dog is a little bit nervous because it just, it's just too much excitement for one day. You know what happens when you have too much teehees in one day? Sometimes you can explode, especially if you're a dog. You just never know. You go boom, like that, right up, like that. You never know what might happen, you know, if you have too much teehees. This dog is, is definitely having way too much teehees for one day. That's why, that's why it's just feeling like, it's just feeling really confused. Like, what does a dog do when it's having too many teehees in one day? So, now what it's doing, it's, it's, it's being really aloof. You know what aloof means? It just means it's, it's just pretending like it's not nervous. Oh, but it's really, really excited to be in Miss Divine's Tihiyo show. So that's definitely a good thing, isn't it, Mr. Dog? Okay. Well, I think I pretty much have all my questions. And, um, you know, feel free to uh, shake my hand anytime. And um, I will be coming back to you more and ask you more questions. And um, hopefully by then, you know, you could be, maybe you could do some things to make the show look more exciting. You could, um, you know, like stretch, you know, or like just, just do something fun. And then, you know, we could, we could, you know, we could, we could make the interview even more interesting. Okay, Mr. Dog? So um, thank you very much for your time once again. And um, I really appreciate you coming out all here, you know, from inside the house in your little bed and coming out here and talking to me, the Zigzag Wanderer here again. So. Uh, once again, this is a zigzag wanderer here, bringing you interviews of all sorts of things, including cute little dogs like that, right? What's a cute little dog like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I said waiting for a zigzag wanderer like me to talk to it. That's what the dog just said. Can you believe that? What a nice answer. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Dog, for doing this interview. And um, here I am, zigzag wanderer here, interviewing Mr. Dog. <laughs>